tell you uh, that you have to wait a few weeks before you get the real effects. You use it uh, every day for a few weeks before you get effects. But I haven't. I got effects right away. I got inflammatory effects, uh, and I got pain relieving effects. DMSO is not a not a cure really, more like a pain reliever. But the anti-inflammatory effects can help speed up the body's healing. Uh, the body's healing mechanisms. It's a free radical scavenger. It's an antioxidant. It's just tremendous stuff. It's non-toxic. You can drink it. You can inject it right in your veins. Uh, I mean, come on. Nothing says fascism more than the FDA telling you what you can use and what you can't use on your body. Uh, as far as DMSO, DMSO goes, the fact that we have to get it at a health food or at a hardware store really speaks volumes about uh, the FDA's uh, mandate to keep you from having what you need to have in order to stay healthy. Uh, urinary tract infections, scleroderma, anti, uh, uh, autoimmune diseases, uh, for all kinds of, all kinds of things. It's, if, I was, if I'm uh, recommending uh, anti-inflammatory medication, topical anti-inflammatories, that's the first thing I'm thinking of using. And you know what? Everybody should have, in my opinion, everybody should have some DMSO in their medicine cabinet because you never know when you're going to need an anti-inflammatory and then you throw on, uh, add, into, add into its anti-inflammatory effects the fact that you can use it for burns and for cuts. It makes great first aid, and everybody, in my opinion, should be keeping it uh, in their medicine cabinet. We talked about anti uh, antibacterial resistance last segment. D DMSO may be a great way to protect yourself from antibacterial resistance. It turns out that, um, that uh, DMSO can prevent the formation of bacterial resistance. That's according to a study that was published in uh, the journal Alternative and Complementary Therapies back in uh, 1996. Does that help you, my man? Yeah, it does. But if, if I could switch it up just for a second, if you could talk about warfarin, my dad's hooked on it. I'm trying to get him off. I've been recommending him natokinase and steroheptase. Yeah. Well, here's and, the deal. Uh, here's the deal with warfarin. By the time they give you war warfarin's a blood thinner, also known uh, as Coumadin. Uh, by the time you get a drug that's a blood thinning drug, your body is in grave distress. Now, warfarin and Coumadin are awful drugs. They're they're among the top ten worst drugs you could ever use. Right up there with methotrexate and with prednisone. Uh, it, it's in the top five, probably, of the nastiest drugs you could ever use. But by the time somebody is, is being put on Coumadin or Warfarin or any blood thinner, they've got some serious bodily distress, and you can't just stop taking your Coumadin or Warfarin. It's basically the price we pay, the penalty we pay, for abusing our body for a long period of time. The blood clots when it's under duress. This is so important, you guys, because blood clotting is a very serious issue that affects millions and millions of Americans, and this is why blood thinning drugs are among the best-selling drugs in America, because everybody, it seems like anyway, has blood clotting problems. Why? Because of the crap that's getting into our blood, because of the lack of oxygen, and because of the general stress that we're all under, including psychological stresses. So if you have a situation where you need to be on warfarin or Coumadin, you've got a body and a blood system that's been in, uh, it's in distress, a body that's been in distress probably for many years. So you can't just stop your warfarin and stop your Coumadin. Yes, natokinase and digestive enzymes and for that matter, essential fatty acids and vitamin E and water are great blood thinners, but they don't have the same potency as a prescription drug. So if you do need a blood thinner, you need a blood thinner. However, what you should be doing, in my opinion anyway, is focusing on why is the blood clotting inappropriately. You're always going to find, number one, some kind of bodily distress. That means something that's getting into the blood inappropriately or some kind of psychological or emotional stress, or it could be lack of oxygen. All of those will cause the blood to become sticky and sludgy, and that can result in all kinds of problems, including hypertension and, God forbid, strokes and heart disease, etc., etc. So you can't just stop your warfarin, but what you want to do is focus on why your blood is clotting inappropriately, fix, uh, fix the circulatory system at that level, and then start to, wean, in my opinion anyway, start to wean yourself off of the Coumadin or warfarin. I hope that helps you, Philip, because i got to move on, buddy. have got a bunch of folks I want to get to. Is that, is that okay, Philip? Anything else? Yeah, thank you so much, thank sir. You. Thank you, buddy. Have a beautiful day. Looks like uh, we got another Philip in Texas, or we got a typo on my call screen. Another Philip in Texas. Is that you? This is me. Okay, second Philip in Texas. What's going on, Philip? Two. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, well, now I am. Okay. Uh, listen, um, I was diagnosed, uh, you know, through my blood uh, uh, hypertension and. Uh, uh, high cholesterol, thyroid. Is, Are you diabetic? Um, and the biggest one is that I'm diabetic. Well, they all I go mean, hand in hand. 
They all go hand in yeah, hand. That's not the biggest one. That's not the biggest one. That's the only one as far as treatment goes, okay? Now, hypertension's a problem. Well, I'll tell you how you deal with that. And, and, what, and the blood lipids, the cholesterol, and the blood fats, they can be a problem too. But as soon as you get your sugar under control, you're going uh, to go a long way towards improving all of the other symptoms. So number one, we've got to get that sugar under control. Diabetes is a voluntary health issue. I don't care what anybody tells you. It's voluntary. You've got to choose it. Now, I'm talking type 2 diabetes. That's diabetes that's associated with excessive secretion of insulin over the course of years. So it's a food disease. It's a voluntary disease. It's a choice disease, which is good news because it means we can control it. We can change it. We can modify it. We can reverse it without a doctor, without the medical model, without prescription drugs. You know, no prescription drugs are good, but among the most tragic are the metformins, the glucophages, and the, the uh, actoses, and the, the kind of drugs they give you for a control diabetes because we don't need them we can do it ourselves and quickly diabetes is one of the quick diabetes is the third leading cause of death in this country after heart disease and cancer and it's the easiest thing to reverse it's way easier to reverse than heart disease and cancer you can reverse it in one day begin to reverse it that is in one day day. How? By controlling your intake of fast-burning carbohydrates. Fasting alone will make a big difference. If you don't want to fast, just up your intake of protein, drop your intake of the bread and the pasta and the rice and the potatoes and the grains and the cereal and the raisin bran. I cannot believe I saw a commercial for raisin bran where they tried to tell you how heart healthy your raisin bran was. It's not heart healthy. No sugar is heart healthy. And grains and raisins and sugars of all kinds are going to uh, make your blood sugar system run a muck and induce diabetes. So reversing uh, diabetes is easy. Get yourself off of those kinds of fast-burning sugars. And then there's nutritional supplements that you could use, Philip. Hang tight and we'll get you. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, veterinarian and naturopathic physician. The Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy with an important message. Take charge of your health. Do not continue to blindly follow the system that has failed us all. I appreciate GCN listeners because you're open-minded and intelligent. If our system is so great, why is it that the United States, the USA, ranks nearly 60th worldwide in longevity and number one in obesity? All the while, we spend more money than all the other countries combined annually on unnecessary health care procedures and toxic drugs. It doesn't take much to get on track, not with the government or pharmaceutical companies, but rather you in control of your own health with a basic understanding of nutrition and supplementation. FDI Longevity has the finest quality health, sports, and energy supplements available. GCN listeners are invited to join our team of people who want to stay healthy well into old age. We are currently looking for specialists to represent FDI Longevity and save America. To buy products at wholesale prices or join our business team, go to GCNteam.com. That's GCNteam.com. Support GCN. Get healthy. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. It's time to get your green on with the great green sale from Freeze-Dry Guy. Now through St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, cases of delicious freeze-dried vegetables, green beans, and green peas are now on sale at veteran-owned freeze-dryguy.com. You don't need to be Irish to feel like you have pots of gold with a healthy supply of these delicious, nutritious green vegetables. They're perfect for your emergency preparedness needs or outdoor activities from camping to RV travel. Green beans and green peas, easy to prepare, easy to enjoy, and now easier than ever to buy. How about some green backs in your wallet or purse just for ordering? Act now, and Freeze Dry Guy will give you $25 in survival bucks for every case you purchase by St. Patty's Day. 
So get your green on now, veggie lovers. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD, or log on to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GC. Welcome back to the Bright Side. Philip in Texas, we're talking diabetes and hypertension and cholesterol. They're all one big package. Hypertension, elevated cholesterol, elevated lipids, diabetes, weight gain, all of it. It all comes together with, uh, with changes in blood sugar and changes in insulin, which, as you know, if you've listened to this program, that's the second point on our triangle of disease. So, first of all, focus on the foods you're eating. Diabetes is a food issue and all of its associated symptomology, including hypertension and, and cholesterol and, and uh, weight gain. Food issue, more protein, less fast-burning carbohydrates, and that includes fruits and fruit juices. That's the simplest thing we can do. Get yourself on the One World Way. Uh, go on the Internet. Look up One World Way. Do it today. Start using 60 to 90 grams a day or even more and start to wean yourself off the carbs, the fast-burning carbs. You still need your vegetable carbs, but your fast-burning carbohydrates like fruit juices and desserts and, and grains and refined processed flours, all of those are verboten on a diabetes diet. But you'll, the good news is you're going to notice results within one or two days once you start to uh, wean yourself off of those kinds of foods and up your protein intake. Then there's tremendous, and I mean tremendous, uh, micronutrients that you can use for diabetes. The B vitamins are a must-have. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, one of the best things about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine are a lot of great things about the BTT, but one of the best features is its high concentrations of B-complex vitamins, especially B1 and B3, which are your main sugar metabolizing B vitamins, thiamine and niacin. In fact, you might just want to get yourself a timed release niacin and take 100 to 200 milligrams of that a day. That'll, that'll make a huge difference, just that, in addition to your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The Sweeties from Longevity has the chromium vanadium. Both of those are very important for helping control blood sugar. There's a nutrient called alpha lipoic acid. I'm going, to, I'm going to do a blog post on that if I haven't already. I think I might have already done one on alpha lipoic acid. Great for blood sugar. Use about 400 milligrams of that a day. The osteomag is great. Magnesium is super important for helping metabolize, helping your body process sugars. Uh, maybe 1,000 milligrams of magnesium a day. Choline, which is a B vitamin-like substance, that can help. Uh, taurine, the amino acid taurine, that can help. The amino acid arginine, that can also help. These are all wonderful strategies that you can use without drugs without doctors to help lower and stabilize your blood sugar and your hypertension and your uh, blood fat should stabilize as well. Philip, I got to move on. I hope uh, I hope I covered that for, uh, covered enough information for you. Is that okay? Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Have a beautiful day. All right, Jess in Michigan. What's up? Jess going once. Jess? Okay. Jess? Hi, Jess. Hey, there you are. All right. What's I up? am a regular listener. I love your show. Thank okay. you. Okay. I am also a longevity distributor. Okay. I think I have a longevity client listening right now. Okay. And uh, she has lupus. 
Okay. A lot of folks have lupus. Lupus is an autoimmune disease, as I'm sure you know. Uh, It involves the connective tissue. We spent a couple of weeks, um, maybe a a month ago or so, talking about the connective tissue. Uh, Connective tissue disease, autoimmune disease of the connective tissue goes by different names. Systemic lupus erythromatosis. That's what lupus really is called. Uh, And lupus is just a standard autoimmune disease. Actually, it's a a bunch of autoimmune diseases that get that, that they are given that moniker of lupus. So you want to do exactly what you do for all autoimmune diseases. 